Empty store shelves, long lines, and a lot of help wanted signs. Since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, economic uncertainty has continued to create challenges. Two years later, restaurant stores and manufacturers continue to struggle to find enough employees. Now your site's Claire Molay spoke with local experts on this. And Claire, what is causing this staffing demand to remain so high? Yeah, Ken, economists tell me these staffing shortages continue to be fueled by the huge amount of economic interruptions caused by COVID-19. From career changes throughout the pandemic to a huge boom in consumer demand, economists say there simply are not enough unemployed people to fill open positions. Chair and Professor of Economics at ECU, Dr. Hyung Lu, says the current unemployment rate is back to what it was before COVID, around 6%. He says it all comes down to huge economic disruptions. So there's still some pent up demand uh, from the consumers uh, hasn't been um, being met. He says this is partially because people are pursuing some services more heavily that they missed out on during COVID, such as going out to eat. Those are the uh, kind of the, the delayed um, consumption um, that's kind of chasing a very limited supply uh, for those goods and services. Regional Operations Director for NC Works, Larry Donnelly, says it's extremely difficult to pinpoint one specific cause. When we were receiving the federal financial assistance, there was a lot of, uh, um, for lack of a better term, blame put on, on that for causing that shortage. Um, but there's been a lot of other um, reasons cited um, that I've read or, or seen through some uh, um, economists and some research that's been done. And he says some of it could stem from socioeconomic challenges. Say childcare, right? Uh, for, for those working parents that have uh, school-aged children. Um, then there's uh, public transportation. There, there's, there still needs to be more of that and, and make it more readily available. Um, unfortunately, there's still drug, alcohol, opioid uh, abuses. And Lou says this may be the beginning of a new future for the labor market. I think if for on the individual level, if it give you uh, that motivation that you decided to, you know, get that training, get that degree, so you can move up uh, and taking advantage of this tightness in the labor market. As far as solutions, Donnelly says we need to continue to improve technology to maximize the efficiency of the workforce we do have. And Lou says we have a resilient economy and it's a matter of letting it work, it, letting it work itself back to normal. In studio, Claire Molay, 9 on your side. Claire, thank you.